Hey guys, what's up? This is Shani Yosuke, SAP FICO as for HANA Finance, MM China. Today I'm going to discuss about validation for ZP document in S4 HANA. If you are completely new to this channel and watching my videos first time, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon. So going forward, we will upload all the real-time content in our official app so that app details are specified in the comment box. So please go through uh, uh, that links and uh, please download that app and going forward all the real time content should be premium. So for the demo perspective we are uploading 5 videos only. So, so just have a look at that videos and um, today topic is validation for ZP document in S4 HANA. Let's understand. So this is the client requirement. ZP document should not be used for manual clearing to the company code TA01. So this is the client requirement. So generally, so all the documents are at the client level. So we can use the document for multiple company codes. But uh, here the client requirement is only for specific company code. ZP document should not be used. Okay. So this is the requirement. So now, so how the uh, requirement need to satisfy. So these are all things I'm going to explain today. So please watch it. Enjoy the session. So I'm just going to SAP S4 HANA screen. So give the best user ID and uh, so give the password. Okay, now the client requirement is for ZP document for the company code TA01, manual uh, posting should not be happened. So, so FB60, so this is the T code. This is the T code. So for uh, posting so i am taking vendor so in this company code ta01 so i am giving the invoice date and the reference number so here if you take vendor invoice system will allow allow the posting so let's see what happened see no authorization for customer and company code ta01 this is a, a different message so I will clear it. OB B57. So for this user ID, so need to take tolerance group. Okay. Now again go to this. So I will post the transaction. FB60. Give the vendor. Give the invoice date. Give the reference and uh, give the amount okay so if you click there is no error messages coming okay there is no error message and if i take so jp document so jp document means what is the description say here uh, all the description is there uh, there is not specifically mentioned jp kr document so how we can segregate so just to go to ob a7 and uh, just go to position type down ZP so this is uh, uh, payment posting the description of ZP document is payment posting now now just go to SAP screen so check it out where is the payment posting so this is payment posting this is ZP document so I am just taking system throwing an error ok so document type ZP uh, document type ZP not allowed for manual posting. So ZP document should not allowed for manual posting. So this is the uh, valid. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the validation. So I have done um, in uh, GBB0. So in the validation uh, concept, I think you might have it. So um, for validation, the T code is so um, GGB0. So just go to GGB0. So GGB0. Okay. So now you go to financial accounting. So document header. So here uh, I space uh, I uh, mentioned here Chanu. So this is uh, document uh, header, and uh, these are all things. Step one requisites, prerequisites, and check messages. These are all things I configured. So first we need to define the document header. So because I'm applying validation for document header ZP only this is header data 
so this is header data so that is the reason i just created validation for header data only okay so under the header one under the header chanu okay so uh, i just uh, given validation name and after that go to step 01 so for fb60 document so jp document number range is jp is mandatory so this is the thing i have done and this should not be allowed manual posting okay so prerequis so uh, prerequisites here you can see this is the this is the rule i have given so, um, and go to check okay messages so message number 130 message number 130 what is message number 130 so document type did not be allowed so this was created by me so click on this go to messages i created this okay so i was created message document type jp not allowed okay now you will try to post jp document manually and definitely you will find this kind of error so if you click this so this is the message number also i created okay so if you want to write anything over here that thing also we can create from message side okay so this is the session uh, guys thank you so much have a great day